Hi, so right now I'm going to demonstrate three different deep breathing techniques as well as two other tools to help you generate your own energy first thing in the morning. I first want to say that these are deep breathing exercises that I do personally every single day each morning and I will tell you that I feel a profound difference in starting my day with these. Now I'm going to start off with three different levels, three different varieties, if this is new to you or you have some experience doing some breathing exercises. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we go, let's get into the breathing exercises. So this first one is meant to be more of an introduction and easing yourself into more intense, deep breathing exercises. Now starting off for all of these, you wanna be sure that you're sitting down, your spine is elongated, chin is back, hands are down and relaxed. And for this first one, we are gonna be taking a deep breath in, but you wanna do it over the course of a three or four count. You're not rushing the breath in, you're letting it come in naturally and just letting it ascend all the way up, totally filling your torso and lungs with oxygen. You're gonna take that breath in, you're gonna hold it at the top for a second, you're gonna exhale gently at your own pace through the mouth, hold for a second at the bottom. Very simple, I'm gonna do three rounds to demonstrate for you, and it goes like this. You want to do anywhere between, I would say do around 10 to 15 of these just to get into that zone of, you know, telling your brain, telling your body that we are doing some deep breathing right now. We are getting some oxygen into ourselves. So that's the first one. You may have noticed there too, my shoulder blades were raising up a little bit. I'm really getting as much oxygen as possible into my lungs and that's going to require doing some different things with my with my physical body so it's not just totally sitting there motionless i'm actually going to take that breath in you can you can watch myself kind of open up that's what we want to do with that first one and when letting our physical body open up there are three uh, distinct parts you want to focus on to really get a rhythm of this it goes diaphragm chest shoulders and if you really um, pay attention to when you're doing the breathing you'll notice these parts opening so it's as you're doing this you'll notice the breath first is from the diaphragm and then the chest expands and then the shoulders expand. Diaphragm, chest, shoulders. Pay attention to that as you're doing the deep breathing. So the second deep breathing exercise is something that I call the 30-70. And it's splitting each deep breath into two parts. The first part uses about 30% effort and the remaining part uses 70% effort. So translated, this just means you're taking the first part of the breath in kind of gentle and easy, and then the second part of the breath, you're finishing it off strong and intense. Goes like this. I'm gonna do three rounds to demonstrate for you. And again, you're gonna hold at the top, exhale gently through the mouth, hold at the bottom and repeat. I'm gonna do three rounds. So as you saw there, gentle at the first part and then really came up. And again, diaphragm, chest, shoulders. You can do anywhere between 10 and 15 of these breaths. But at the end of the day, 
This is your body. This is your health. This is your life. This is meant to experiment with and notice how you feel. But you want to make sure you're you're starting with the first one, doing the second one, and now we're going to go into the third one. All right, so the third one and most intense, uh, it's known as the Wim Hof method. Wim Hof, if you want to look him up, W-I-M-H-O-F is where I got it from. It's a very popular technique out there. Uh, it's going to look like hyperventilating, but rest assured, that's why you build up to it with the, with the previous two. But this is the one that's going to carry into... Um, those two different tools and the extra strategies that I mentioned, it's gonna carry in to the first one. So this, this method is really the focus is all on the inhale and you're just gonna let the exhale come naturally and keep the inhales. So it's, it's a very strong, very fast inhale, combination of nose and mouth, you're gonna inhale through and then let it out. So this is how it goes. So here we go. I'm going to do five breaths to demonstrate for you. Whew. I don't know if that was four or five, but you get the idea of it. Um, so the sweet spot you want to look for with this is when you start to feel ever so slightly lightheaded and there's a bit of tingling in your extremities, in your hands or your feet, this is okay. Um, and again, it's that diaphragm, chest, shoulders opening, like you are getting, you are breathing probably the most intense you ever have right now, but that's why we're doing this um, in the morning to, as I like to say, why take 30 minutes to wake up or an hour to wake up when we can we can have a say we can initiate that um so that's what it is there i'm gonna go into the next part what this transitions into so with that last breathing exercise the wim hof method you want to do anywhere between 20 and 30 breaths and that's that part you want to look out for is a little lightheadedness or, or tingling now, the next part that this transitions into to really make it something incredible, um, you want to have a stopwatch, your phone nearby where you can set a timer. I use one of the, I have a Fitbit watch that shows the, the, the time, you know, automatically on it. Um, so what it is when you're done with those 20 or 30 breaths, you pick whatever one you start to feel that at. Um, and on the last, on the last breath, you're going to hold it at the bottom. So you're going to take those breaths in, out, in, out, in. When you're at the last one, you're going to take the breath in, you're going to exhale and you're going to hold your breath at the bottom. So your lungs are going to be empty and that's where you're going to set that timer. Or if you have a watch. And this is simply meant to track your lung capacity and how well your blood is, um, is hyper oxygenating over time. That's where we're doing this. So you want to time it and you're holding your breath at the bottom. And then once you feel the, the reflex to, to gasp, to take air in, because I mean, it's, you're going to feel that you're, you're holding your breath at the bottom there. Um, what you're going to do there. Once you have to take that breath in is you're going to take a huge breath in very similar to the 20 or 30 you took do it a little bit slower you're going to take that big breath in you're going to hold it at the top and what you're going to do essentially is you're going to push you're going to hold the breath and you're going to think of pushing all of that newly brought oxygen into your brain essentially you want to it's kind of funny you're going to want to think that you're trying to go to the bathroom and you're trying to force it now if you actually have to go to the bathroom i'd recommend doing that before this um, or take it easy if the feeling kind of comes about um, i don't want to get too much into that but kind of show you what uh, this last round looks like so I'm going to do three breaths i'm going to hold that at the bottom only for a few seconds i'm going to show you what like this looks like in a shorter condensed um, time frame. 
but after you push, after you hold, then you transition back into breathing naturally. So I'm gonna do three of these breaths. Um, so it goes like this. So that breath hold where you're pushing, when the air is now, you inhale the air to the top and you're pushing that. You also wanna try and hold that for as long as possible. You don't feel crazy, but you don't wanna just do a quick push. You wanna hold that. And then once you held that for as long as you, as you, as you can, you exhale it out and you gradually go back into breathing normally. So any of these three deep breathing exercises, you can treat it like the Wim Hof method. Um, so whether it's the first one and they're more easy, just deep breaths in, exhaling, or the second one, the 30-70, you can still do the breath hold at the, the bottom of the last breath. You, you can still do that. And now you wanna break this up into rounds. I would recommend doing at least one, obviously, but two or three rounds of these breaths uh, first thing in the morning. So whether you do, you can, honestly, you can mix this up. I, I really encourage you to experiment. There's no one right way to do this. This is something I believe it should be done every morning to generate your, your energy for and, and blood flow to the brain for mental focus and just energy for working out and just life. Um, so whether it's the first one, you do 20 breaths of that and then do the breath holding and then bring it in and hold. And then you do the Wim Hof, the more really intense ones, 20 or 30 of those breathe and hold. So I really encourage you to um, experiment with that, but do at least two rounds. Now I'm going to show you the next part, the second tool to really open up the body. Here we go. So the second tool to really open up the body, after you do your two or three rounds of whatever of the breathing exercises you choose, this is something um, called tapping or Qigong. Something very simple, you wanna wait till you regain your normal breath back and the key is you wanna keep breathing intentionally, not, not crazy deep breaths, nothing like that, but just keeping your keeping your breath, breathing intensely. I noticed that you can um, <clears throat> you can tend to like forget about the breaths after you do something like this. So this is what the tapping looks like. You're gonna tap all areas of your body in different ways and you're gonna feel radically different. So I keep breathing just normally, but I start with my feet and just check this out. You go up about an inch at a time. Doing this shouldn't take you any longer than a minute. And you're gonna go all over. Make sure you keep breathing as you're doing this. Top of the neck. Other arm. Going down. And 
finishing it off. You want to get the neck and gentle taps. There are so many nerve centers in the face. Remember to keep breathing just, just normally as you're doing this. All right, so that's the full body tapping. And I notice I feel radically different after doing that first thing in the morning. Um, it's just meant it's, it's intentional movement and opening the body without necessarily jumping around and doing burpees and doing all these, you know, exercises that you really like you're, you're just waking up. You, you, you can't do that right away. So this is one of my favorite ways to open everything up. So one last thing I would transition to from this after you've tapped, you want to tap all over. I mean, you saw me, I'm starting with the ankles. You even get, you even get the bottoms of the feet, you get your hands, you get your face, you get everywhere. But the next thing I would transition into is honestly some gentle movement before going into, um, if you're going to do an actual workout, as you guys know, I light morning movement, best way to do it. But I would start, I just, just start jumping up and down. I, I skip, I swing my arms and I'm just introducing um, some, some easy, gentle movement. Um, and then I can transition into some more intense stuff uh, first thing in the morning. 